So my name is Bernd Kasper. I'm medical oncologist by training and I work here in Germany uh, based in Mannheim, which actually belongs to the University of Heidelberg. We are a, a big um, university hospital and I'm dedicated here to the Mannheim Cancer Center and we also have a certified sarcoma unit and this is the unit where I actually also see uh, the desmid tumor patients. When talking about desmid tumors, it's pretty clear that we are talking about a, a rare disease and uh, the, the incidence is around five per one million per year and um, so it is a pretty um, uh, it, it, is a, it is a mesenchymal proliferation and it is clinically characterized by a very variable presentation and often uh, unpredictable um, behavior, let's put it like that. And it is, it is not per se a malignant disease. So the WHO classification says it is, um, it is intermediate, which means that desmid tumors can grow quite aggressively locally but they do not metastasize. Yeah, traditionally they have been treated like a, a malignant sarcoma, soft tissue sarcoma. So they have been treated by extensive surgeries and um, radiotherapy. And that has of course dramatically changed over the let's say last 10, 20 years. So surgery um, more or less doesn't play any major role anymore. Uh, so there are only very few remaining indications for surgery and everything much more moved into the into the um, direction of systemic therapies but in principle and that's that's one of the main messages when you uh, when you see a desmid tumor patient for the first time in the majority of cases you can just um, uh, treat them by active surveillance which means that you can just watch and wait at the beginning and uh, to find out um, how actually the desmid tumor um, uh, behaves. I mean, does it grow? Does it just stay stable? Or there are even cases uh, with spontaneous regression. I still, uh, I, I'm, I'm still actually more familiar with the with the with the old name, the Nerogazistat name. But uh, yeah, it's actually a gamma secretase inhibitor. And um, and there is a, a, a rational for using gamma secretase inhibitors in desmid tumors because um, um, desmid tumors um, uh, have uh, so notch signaling is involved there, and so and uh, uh, gamma secretase inhibitors can inhibit uh, these notch signaling. So there is a clear a scientific rational behind using these uh, types of drugs here. Even we don't we don't really understand the full mechanism of action yet. The, so, um, yeah, I mean, neurogazistat has been tested in smaller phase one and two studies with already um, quite impressive um, efficacy uh, for desmid tumor patients, and now this approval, of course, is based on the uh, results of the phase three study of the DeFi study, and there a neurogazistat um, met the primary endpoint with a 71% um, reduction in the risk of disease progression uh, compared to placebo. This was the, the main endpoint of the study. And of course, all the other secondary endpoints were also positive. And this was, yeah, th this was actually the basis for the, for the positive approval now. I mean, the, it, it is a milestone, no doubt, because it is the first ever approved drug in this indication. And um, we are already using a couple of other medical therapies, such as tyrosine kinase inhibitors, for example, so rafinib or pasopanib, or we use traditional chemotherapies as we do in, in soft tissue sarcomas. But the problem is that all these are, uh, all these other medications are not explicitly approved um, in, uh, for desmid tumor patients. And especially in Europe, this is a big problem because they are often not reimbursed by the, by the different countries and by the insurances in the different countries. And um, so this 
approval of Nerogasistat will certainly change the landscape because we uh, we are about to have a drug which is now there, which is which will be reimbursed and which we can use for these patients. What we can add is that that the approval is is pretty broad, which is of course good. So there is no restriction to uh, to certain patients. Uh, the the um, the approval just that just says that um, we can use neurogastrostat in desmoid tumor in progressing desmoid tumors. Um, that was actually the situation um, uh, where we used the drug in the phase three study. So it is actually um, the drug of choice for desmoid tumor patients requiring systemic therapy. Of course, we will not use the drug in a patient who is not in need of any systemic treatment. But for those patients who are in need of treatment, um, neurogastrostat will certainly be the, the first choice.